Rehearsals are not glamorous. Ballet can be brutal. But to be the best, and at 42, Carlos Acosta still is the best, takes achingly hard work. Carlos, what's aching this morning? Oh, everything, <laughs> everything. This program that we do in Cubania is very demanding because I had to jump from uh, one kind of dancer to another, you know, from classical to Afro-Cuban folkloric to contemporary dance. I mean, uh, and it's all over the floor, standing on my head, and then the next, the next piece is maybe all leaping, and so at the end of the day, I'm, you know, done. So your body is telling you that it's the autumn of your dancing. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, from, from the classical uh, repertoire, I think that, you know, this is going to be it because, uh, you know, I've done it. I, I don't want to keep dancing the same tune and the same ballet. I think uh, I want to try to transition into more contemporary dance while I'm at the top. Carlos's Cubania opens next week. It's inspired by his homeland. His heart is and always has been in Havana where he was born into poverty in 1973. From such circumstances, to be plucked out to dance in, in a starring role in the way that you do and have done for many, many years, mm. how, how did it begin? How did anybody spot that you could dance? I knew you could break dance, couldn't you? And everybody was doing that in the street. Mm -hmm. That's right. I mean, I think it must have been uh, because already by the age of nine and ten years old, I was into hanging out with these crowds. Uh, sometimes, you know, we used to steal, you know, mangoes or whatever to pay ourselves for the ticket in the movie theater. So, and that was at the age of nine. So my father saw that if these things continued, and then it could have become much worse. Of course, you know, I didn't, I was, you could say, literally, I was forced into ballet because I, first I didn't know what ballet was, second, second, I, I didn't like it. <laughs> and so, well, but... Why didn't you like it? You thought it was effeminate or what? I think so. I, I think everybody thought the same, you know, <laughs> everybody thought the same, you know, and they had this, the Q1 culture is this kind of machismo kind of culture, and you know, if you are... A, a man, you don't do ballet, you know, yeah. this kind of a stereotype. And, um, but you I mean, obviously absolutely loved it, because otherwise you wouldn't have yeah. put up with it. Oh, the, the ballet, what's not to love about ballet? It's, it's wonderful. I mean, it's, it's just the most wonderful world. You see, just as you are about to begin your transition, as you describe it, huh. Cuba is beginning a transition. Uh -huh. I mean, this very week, the United States opened its embassy and Cuba opened its embassy in Washington. What do you make of it? And, and has I it informed your decision to live half your life there? I think it's, it's a wonderful step. I think uh, it's, it is, I think in a war, nobody wins. And this country has been enemies for far too long. And I, I think it was just completely pointless and everybody was waiting for this day. I think a lot of, a, a lot of collaboration between artists, we thrive, a lot of uh, things will happen, you know, as a, as a result of this, uh, you know, these two countries being friends again. And I think it's just a positive thing. But you see, I mean, for years people said, well, it, it, it can't, it'll never happen, no, nobody's going to do it. Uh -huh. So that when Obama announced it, there was actually very little reaction except joy. Joy. You know, I think probably the moment is, is what this was the moment. But you don't fear that uh, instability will come from it? I think, you know, like in any, in any country, Cuba will find it all, it, its own way. I think it would be maybe an unrest or here, you know, go up and down and so on. But ultimately, you know, it will find the way it should, it should, uh, it should get. You're only 42. Um, what's your ambition? I think uh, I want to build a platform so that long after I'm gone, it keeps helping uh, young dancers from all over the world, not just for Cuba, from all over the world, to, to really educate themselves into this art form that has given me so much. And that's what I want to fight for. Carlos, thank you very much indeed for talking to me. Thank you.